Now to our other big story tonight, a Beaumont man cleared of capital murder charges in the rape and killing of a homeless woman. Prosecutors say jurors did not have a complete picture of the suspect, Brandon Coleman, including prior convictions for sexual assault. William Blanchett has reaction from both sides to this capital murder case. William? Well, guys, the not guilty certainly surprised prosecutors. Defense attorneys for Brandon Coleman tell me they're glad jurors saw through the holes in the prosecution's case. They say Coleman had an alibi. Thursday afternoon into the week and a half long murder trial for a man accused of killing a homeless woman. I have no doubt in my mind that Brandon Coleman killed Catherine Dungan. But jurors didn't buy it. Prosecutor Jimmy Ham says he's disappointed with the jury's decision. He felt Brandon Coleman's DNA found on Catherine Dungan's neck was enough for a guilty verdict. If you choke somebody and you strangle them, you're going to leave behind your DNA, and that was my argument to the jury. Dungan was found dead two years ago with her hands tied behind her back with signs of sexual assault. M says the judge did not allow Coleman's past convictions of sexual assault to be brought up during the trial. Every one of the jurors that I visited with uh, mentioned that had they known about that, they would have found him guilty. Obviously, we're excited. Defense attorney Sean Samuel says Coleman and Dungan were known to have a sexual relationship. And that explains Coleman's DNA on Dungan. The defense presented cell phone evidence showing that Coleman was at different locations at the time of Dungan's death. They were seen together around 3 o'clock. There was somebody that saw them at 5 o'clock, and they weren't together. And more importantly, this individual said that Ms. Dungan was alive and well. Samuel says the video from the main entrance of Collier's Ferry Park proved Coleman wasn't involved. The main way in which to get to the park there was video for over two hours. Nowhere was his video, uh, the vehicle seen on that. Uh, I'm um, disappointed that the verdict didn't reflect what I believe is justice in this case. Now, Brandon Coleman's defense attorneys believe police need to reopen the investigation. Coleman's family ap appeared relieved by the verdict, but they declined an on-camera interview. William Blanchett, 12 News.